Good morning everyone, happy Tuesday, hope you're well. This is your Tuesday Espresso Tarot video, touching on the energies, the flavourings, the moon cycle today, it's full moon. I will be posting on that and there will be um, like a herbalist card next to that as well, if you can resonate. So let's begin. Let's see what is coming, it's snowing here. Let's see what coming is coming into your position today. You are the questioner, so let us see. Let us see what is coming in for my questioners today. Okay, so you have the Seven of Cups. This card has been changing its meaning over the last, I would say, eight years or so. Not fully, but just what it was. The staple meanings are still the same, but the energies surrounding this card um, have been changing. So the Seven of Cups used to be called the Lord of Welcome Delusion. And whilst that still stands in some cases... There's so many options for people now that the illusionary is going to be taken away and it's more about what your awareness is. So this is about your options that you are aware of. OK, so sometimes we hesitate and think, should I go for this? Should I go for that? And other times we go straight in and think, well, this is exactly um, what I want. This is exactly what I need. Um, but this is a game of snakes and ladders, okay, with this. So you could find that you're two steps forwards, 10 steps back, three steps forwards. Um, and this could be when you're trying to kind of gain something, gain a momentum uh, with your own personal life, see some results with whatever that is, relationships, home, work, money. Um, and it's just a sense of not a battle, but a sense of trying to gain stability, I feel, for you to see the fruits of whatever you want to see the fruits in. This could mean that you're always busy. And this could mean that you're always in a state of the I'll be happy when type thing. Okay, so the beauty of this card is showing you what you want. Um, there are choices coming in for you. If you feel like you haven't got any choices, just hold out. There will be some more. Um, and this is a card, of, yeah, showing you what you want. And also just what you want and what you need are two very different things. Okay, so don't waste too much mind time thinking that the thing you want is what you need. It might be completely different when it comes around. Okay, so relax into that a little bit and see. Know that options are on their way to you. Let's see what's too many. Let's see what's coming in from an outside influence situation. Let's have a look. Too many. One card, please. Let us see. Just ask the divine. Thank you. Okay. So with the five of pentacles, I am going to get a clarify for this. This is coming in from an outside influence situation. So people around you might seem low. Okay. Um, when you're trying to maintain your highest frequency you will get tested to a certain degree and it's always the way isn't it everyone around you has either got a bee in their bonnet or they're low or there's something going on with them and you might feel that your options maybe you want to kind of get away from this energy as you know in the nicest possible way um but the five of cups is a kind of sorrow so you may have somebody around you who loses uh an element of their life that is very important to them okay um you could just experience people who are just not in alignment with themselves perhaps this is a test for you to test your empathy who knows um but i'm just going to get a clarifier and see i don't feel that that five of pentacles is for you the reason being is because you're the seven of pentacles um the seven of cups sorry so i'm just going to ask now firstly actually what i'm going to do is ask just to clarify your position the seven of cups Let's see. I'm just going to ask the, my questioners their Seven of Cups position clarifier, please. Just one card clarifier. One card clarifier for the Seven. Upside down for the. That flew out. Yeah, so you're thinking of moving on anyway, okay? Um, you are changing. You are heading in the right direction. This is a Six of Wands, um, but this is what about you kind of assessing your options with moving on you could be thinking of leaving a relationship you could be thinking of starting a new one either way it's going to lead you to where you're supposed to be so i wouldn't expect this um guys to be you um so you're going places not right now right this second so i'm just going to see why is the father of pentacles coming in from an outside influence situation if it's a court card it's definitely other people um let's see yeah court card page of swords interesting So what's happening around you really is 
the word I'm looking for here is inconsistency. Inconsistency with maybe what you're told and what's said are two different things. Actions not showing um, to be matching the words. A Debbie Downer energy. Now I say Debbie Downer, but I don't mean that to sound, you know, flippant if somebody is going through a turmoil. But this is a lower frequency energy. The Page of Swords um, is, a, is a good card on its own. It's really, really good. It shows ambition. But I just feel that other people around you need to focus on that pain and what is causing that. Because there's too much going on here with sliding over, um, almost like the band-aid, or just working too much too quickly when there's something they need to address, okay? This could be if you're dating somebody that you're thinking of perhaps leaving. This could be because they could be quite childish. Again, they're what they say, how they present themselves could be wonderful, but they're just their subconscious. Um, it could just be in need of some healing and whilst it's good to help people it is not your job to be that person all the time you know you need that equilibrium in the relationship so let's have a look and see what's coming into your future position let us see wonderful ten of cups all good guys all good on this train so the ten of cups is the emotional fulfillment so you see how you're the seven thinking about things, where you're going to go. It does lead you, this path that you're taking, that's why I got the clarifier, is leading onto happier grounds. You will be in a happier relationship. You will be in a happier sense of self. You will have happier surroundings around you. Not necessarily because the people around you have changed, but because maybe the way you look at them change or you've distanced yourself. You've taken some action, basically, um, in order to help yourself with regards to this. Um, I'm just going to see now what is coming in as an overall clarifier for you. The chariot major moving on stunning you see the stars there in the curtains that is part of the star card which is your karmic gift but this is more about finding your dharma finding your path there's many choices to make this isn't like which job do i do now which relationship do i go into this is a spiritual alignment so whilst this is a, a minor there's it's leading you to your soul path so choose wisely choose what feels right for you because this is like reprogramming your cellular memory as well so if you find that you're held back by this five of pentacles is a family member or a long-term friend that keeps bringing you down you can reprogram your cellular memory to say i willingly release any negative cellular memory that's attaching me maybe to this situation even if they're not in front of you um, and watch how things start to change because you're having that awareness the yin the yang the dark the light it's all coming into alignment for you um so you are definitely going places absolutely I just feel there's a lot of conflict around you on a mind level um, with an external source or the actual external source around you is showing itself to be quite challenging but you've got this you are moving on there are better things be focused um, and watch what happens okay guys you take care have a wonderful Tuesday whatever you're doing and I will see you very soon and watch out for my little moon post I think you'll happy to bye bye